kimchi fried rice is to die for. Apparently, this wasn't on their menu originally. They only added it after one of their regulars requested it. Hmm, I didn't know that kind of thing was even possible. It's pretty flexible for a restaurant. I wonder if they do the same for us if we become regulars. I can't help but wonder, though, how do you even become a regular in the first place? Just show up for a meal every day? Hmm, I assume it depends on the owner. If they remember you and you get to know each other, you might be able to call yourself a regular at that point. Be their friend, huh? I have no idea how to relate to the owner here. I figured showing up to eat all the time seems like the best bet. Would you really go that far just to put something on their menu? I've only heard this in passing, but apparently the owner of this place used to be a part of some crazy biker gang. Get out of here. Can't imagine that just looking at the guy. Wonder what's the story behind that one. What if we rode in on tricked out choppers, dressed to the nines in leather? <laughs> Maybe then he'd tell us. It'd be like speaking his language. Oh, we should totally do that. If we want to get banned for life. Hmm, decisions, decisions. By the way, if you got him to put something special on the menu, what would it be? Hmm, I can't really think of anything. Then what's the point of all this? Thanks for buying. That food. food. Arigato. いらっしゃいませ。Let's dig in. I never really noticed it before, but it sure is a pretty little cafe. Yeah, it's well managed, and there's not a speck of dust anywhere. It really has a nice atmosphere. You're very observant, Kiryu-san. Even Namba seemed to notice. Give me a break. I may look like a disgruntled mess, but I do clean up after myself. Every now and then. I'll have you know, I recently bought some cleaning supplies. Still right there in the box. Satisfied with the purchase alone, huh? Well, the effort's what counts, right? Got me a feather duster and everything. Oh, a feather duster? Yeah, a big stick that looks like a bird's ass at the end. Isn't that what Cinderella uses to clean? I'd rather not associate you with Cinderella, but I digress. So, did you do some cleaning? How could I? I tried waving it around, but all I did was spread a bunch of dust everywhere. Sounds to me like you almost had it. After the dust settles, you're supposed to sweep it up and then you're done. Oh, so that's how it works. <laughs> the damn thing was busted. What I'd recommend is a handheld mop to clean up dirt and grime without spreading it around. Sounds like you've got this cleaning thing down. Surprised? There was a time I lived with family, and believe me, we all did our fair share of cleaning. I could teach you like I taught them. I even have a surefire technique to get rid of mold. Yes, master. Teach me your ways. And so begins the strangest apprenticeship of all time. Thanks for buying. That was great. That food. food. Arigato gozaimasu. Let's do it. Oh, that's the stuff. Actually, I could use another round. Stomach might be emptier than I thought. Don't push yourself. They say you should only eat until you're 80% full. Yeah, that's true. But still. I definitely went overboard. I thought soba by itself would be too light, so I got curry and katsudon too. But now I'm about to burst and I haven't even touched the katsudon. Wow, you really went for a full course meal. Should I go for broke or call it a day? Always a hard decision. Nanba, you're looking a little gaunt there. You want this katsudon, don't ya? What is this, an interrogation? 
Yeah, I'll take it. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Detective dramas never lie. The guilty just can't resist a hot meal. Hey, I always wanted to be the bad cop. Namba, stay put while I order up another katsudan. I only need one, damn it. And why am I always the criminal in your sick game of pretend? Thanks for buying. That was great. Right. food. food. Arigatou. Yo, sick cart short stuff. Is this limited edition? Yeah, I want one too. Hey, give it back, please. Huh? Don't be such a greedy brat. Well, you want to get hit? A premium model's wasted on some dumbass kids. I'll make this thing fly. But I spent my whole allowance on it. I don't care. Go away before I kill you. Don't move a muscle, you scum. Huh? Is that the nerd I think it is? Nerd? No! Try Pocket Circuit Fighter. And that's Kojiro-kun's car. Hand it over. <laughs> Shit! Pocket jerk off fighters actually lecturing me. Why don't you crawl back into whatever boomer ass manga they cribbed your outfit from? You know, we'd put a car like that to better use than some moron toddlers. Don't you want faster races at your rinky dink stadium? Are you nuts? As if I'd let anyone who mistreats kids race on my tracks. Pocket Circuit may be competitive, but it's not the fastest who wins the day. It's whoever has the most fun. You two blockheads don't deserve Pocket Circuit. Fighter. It's not safe here. Move along, please. But Fighter. Don't worry about me. Now go. <sighs> okay. Now, just you and me. Right. Listen up. You're dealing with the pocket circuit fighter now. Uh, uh, cheap shot. So that's how it is. <laughs> hey, this nerd's literally as weak as he looks. <laughs> Look at you in that oversized chip bag. This fighter can suck my ass. For real. What kind of virgin devotes his whole life to toy cars? <laughs> Have your folks seen your dumb cosplay? <laughs> Go home! If your family ain't disowned you yet, maybe they can find you a real job, fighter! Kojiro-kun's car... handed... over. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, my race isn't run... yet. <laughs> He's actually out cold. Let's teabag him. Hey. Huh? The hell? Who are you? Nobody besides a pocket circuit fan. You've both made a big mistake just now. Now be quiet and give me the card. What's up with him? You got some death wish, old man? Should we find out? Hell yeah, we should! Let's fuck this guy up! Kakagoshiro! Show me what you got. Let's do it. All right. Let's finish it. Together. We only need one Naturally. shot. Bring it on! I won't hold back. Here we go. A trace hell! I got it. You want some? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Let's see. I feel so heavy. It's time. Easy. Waste of my time. They didn't stand. <sighs> that should do it. Mm. Fighter, please say something. 
Uh, is that you, Kojiro-kun? Yes, it's me. Are you okay? Fighter! Yeah, I'll be all right. Are any of you hurt? Uh, all because you protected us. Thanks so much. Fighter, you're so strong. We never knew. Huh? What? Me? Well, look. Those bullies are all knocked out. Oh. Was that... Me? There's nobody else around. You're the coolest fighter. Um, I'm really happy you got my car back. Don't worry about it. It's a fighter's job to keep the racer safe. Fighter, you... You did all of this for us. After I said such mean stuff to you. I swear, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I promise, Kojiro-kun. I'm the one who's sorry. You only wanted to have fun customizing your kit. I tried to force my way of doing things onto you, but you never asked me to. I assumed you'd be happier if you won more often, but you were smart enough to know what matters to you. I was a crummy fighter. I forgot the most important thing about Pocket Circuit. Please, forgive me. Fighter! Hey, I know how to make it all okay. Let's race together. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Take us back to the stadium, fighter. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Um, I might need to buy a couple bandages first. Can you two go on ahead? Sure, <laughs> we'll wait for you there. Well done, fighter. You've really earned that title. Murunaga-kun! Hmm? Uh, President! Huh. No way. Of course. Fighter said the new president was a fanatic. I got a call on my pocket phone that a fighter was in a scuffle and rushed over. Are you alright? Oh, yeah, I'm just fine, sir. And no harm came to the children. I see. Well, thank goodness. You did the right thing protecting them, Muranaka-kun. <laughs> Any fighter worth their stripes would do the same. Muranaka-kun, something's different about you. Have you found some new motivation? Do you think so? Kazuma-kun's to thank, then, probably. Kazuma-kun? Yes, sir. He's a truly noble man, and a racer since the Bubble Era. I was beginning to doubt my value as a fighter. To be honest, Kazuma-kun heard me out and gave me advice fit for a sage. He opened my eyes, sir. How about that? Kazuma-kun, you say he helped you through a personal crisis? Yes, absolutely. May I ask, uh... It sounds like you might know him, sir? Hmm. He happens to be an, uh, an important old friend. Oh, I should have realized. Kazuma couldn't mention knowing the first fighter. He called you a friend, too. He did, did he? If it's all right, sir, I should get back to the stadium. The kids are waiting for me. Hmm. And take care of yourself. Oh, Muranaka-kun, if you happen to see Kazuma-kun again, give him a message. I would love another race someday, friend. You got it, sir. I won't forget. See you again, Mr. President. You called me your friend, huh? Pocket Circuit sure is special, Kazuma-kun. If we, uh... If I ever see you again, let's laugh together. Let's cry, let's shout. Just like the kids do. Like we used to back then. Let's race, Cosma Coon.
feels like just yesterday. That's nostalgic. I'm ready. It's my turn. I'll follow your lead. Follow my lead. Let's see. You can win. Wanna play, do we? Cool night. This is delivery. Coming up. The Pocket Circuit Fighter lives on! You got this! Let me give you a punch at night! Ah. Want some? Right. Just gonna stand there? Check this out! Let's raise hell! Out of my way! Let's do it. Sorry to drag my feet. Pretty good. You picked There's the more where yes. this came from. Strong. Hey. I'm good. This brings back memories. Bring it on. It's over. My heart is so Hell yeah. They did hardly a fair fight. Irashayose. Ariato. I can't breathe. <sighs> hey, what's the matter? Are you all right? I'm having a fit. I can't breathe. <sighs> Got it. Just hold on. Don't move. No. Stop. Don't call an ambulance. I can't afford it. This isn't the time for that. You could die. Even if I survive this. I'd just be assumed dead if those thieving debt collectors come after me. Damn it. Then what should I do? If he's refusing an ambulance, how can I help him? Should I look for a hospital nearby? But what are the chances of finding a hospital in the heart of Kamurocho? Hmm? Wait a minute. Aren't we right near... Right, Emoto Medical Clinic, home to Kamurocho's best physician. Who treat this guy for free? It's been ages since we first met. Wouldn't matter if all of society turned its back on you. Doc Emoto doesn't refuse anyone in need. I respect the man. Good to know he's still kicking. Hang in there, all right? I'm gonna get you to a doctor. Doc, sorry to barge in. It's an emergency. 
Huh? Where is Dr. Emoto? I'm Dr. Emoto, but if you're looking for my father, he's out currently. I'm sure he'll be back soon. <sighs> then you must be. But didn't you just say there's an emergency? Oh, let's not waste time chatting. What's the situation? Can patient move on his own? A homeless man collapsed. He's having some sort of attack. He's on the street right now and won't take an ambulance. Understood. This kind of thing is fairly typical. My apologies, but I'll need your help carrying him in. Is he all right now? <sighs> yes, he's fine. He's actually one of my father's patients. This tends to happen from time to time. Though, this time around, it was your intervention that ended up saving him. Oh, that's a relief. So how is the old doctor these days? Well, the years have taken their toll. A fact that's more noticeable lately. Were you a patient of my father's? No, I'm not exactly. Huh? What's going on here? You injured? He collapsed after having another attack. Seems he ran out of the meds you prescribed. That gentleman over there made me aware of the situation, so we were able to prevent a disaster. Oh, I see. Thank you. And I'm sure he'd like to personally extend his thanks when he comes to. No, there's no need for that. I've got to head out soon. Earlier, it sounded as though you knew my father personally. Well... I've heard a few things here and there, but it was quite a while ago. Hmm. Did you hear good things or bad things? All good things. <laughs> well, I suppose I should thank my lucky stars. So, you run this clinic with your daughter now? Hell no. This is my clinic. She's just a busybody who barges in whenever she feels like it. Taken after me was 100% her idea. True, I was never asked, but someone has to keep this place running, no matter what my dad says. I've told him he can retire anytime, but he absolutely refuses to settle down. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, no, no, my, my apologies. Uh, for a second, I mistook you for someone I knew way back when. Come to think of it, I heard he died a few years ago. He was a legend among the Yakuza here in Kamrocho. You don't say. Huh. <laughs> that voice. You even sound just like him. But I guess that's downright impossible. To think, I almost accused a friend of faking his own death all those years ago. Preposterous. Yeah, unfortunately you've got the wrong guy. I'm just passing through. Right. But I did haunt Kamurocho often in the past. I've heard a lot about you. In a town that only cares about money and women. There's a doctor who'll help anybody in need. A man of great character. <laughs> well, that's pretty exaggerated. But it's nice to know that I'm a trusted physician. What's with this heavy atmosphere? You two can just tell me if I'm in the way. Oh, that's not it. I'm going on break. You guys, take your time. It must be reassuring to know you have a reliable successor. She grew up following in your footsteps. One look at her, and you can tell how strong-willed she is. Isn't that the truth? Once my daughter makes up her mind, it's her way or the highway. <laughs> but that's the right attitude to have when running a clinic like this. And patients seem to prefer being treated by her rather than an old grouch like me. <laughs> These days, all anyone ever seems to ask me is when I'm going to retire. That's a shame. Damn straight. It only gets me even more fired up. At this rate, I'll be a doctor until my dying day. 
Those ungrateful patients can't get rid of me yet. It was good to see you, Dakimoto. As someone who treats the injured and infirm, I can't exactly ask you to come again soon. But I'm here for you. Even if you're guarding secrets, you can trust me. Doctor patient confidentiality, you know. <laughs> Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. Times have changed, and even the Tojo clan is long gone. But some things never change. <laughs> Looks like I'm still no match for you, Dakimoto. Oh, good to see you, Kiryu. Are you set? I'd like to take you somewhere. I assume you're ready to go? Hmm. I'm prepared. Great. Then let's get going. When was the last time you saw Sayama, anyway? When I moved to Okinawa, so that'd be... a little over 15 years now. We first met in 2006. To think it's been 17 years. Kaoru Sayama, a former detective in the Osaka police, and the ace of Division 4, the Anti-Yakuza Task Force. We partnered together for a certain incident regarding the Tojo clan, and then... As the bomb kept ticking down, I decided to spend the last moments of my life with this incredible woman. Damn, 15 years? I haven't seen her for a while either, but nowhere near as long as that. Earlier, she said she's here on business. Asked me if I wanted to catch up and all. I'm something of a big shot at work, you know. What's with the big talk? <laughs> Nobody else would listen to me, Bragg. Well, it might have been 15 years, but Sayama's as sharp as ever. There's a chance she'll spot you at a distance, so we better play it safe. I don't know. There is also a chance she's forgotten all about me. You're hopeless. Here, take these. Wireless earphones and mic. We usually use them during investigations, but I'll loan these to you. That way, you can listen in on the conversation, and I'll be able to hear what you have to say, too. Come on, let's get moving.
She hasn't changed one bit. You look busy, as usual. How long are you here for? <laughs> I'll be leaving the day after tomorrow. How's Tommy Osan doing? She's great. Mama's been manning the bar every night. I think she's doing even better than me. Glad to hear it. Best you spend time with family while you can. That's certainly true. But still, it's been a long time. About six, seven years or so, right? The last time we spoke was when you called me about Kazuma's passing, I believe. Right. Sorry for dropping that bombshell back then. It's fine. I'm sure I would have heard about it sooner or later. After all, he was quite infamous among the police. <laughs> no kidding. His name always popped up whenever something big happened. You got any guys that buy into the whole Kazuma Kiryu hidden mastermind conspiracy? We do, yes. Kazuma Kiryu is actually still alive. He's been pulling the strings behind society as we speak. Hmm. Those rumors, right? <laughs> what kind of officer would say that? It's complete nonsense. Well, guess that means his legacy was that impactful. Can't blame folks for making him into some urban legend, especially if they never knew him. I suppose so. <sighs> but to think he's gone, even now, I still can't fathom it. <sighs> How can someone as tough as him just die? How? When I've seen him cheat death time after time. Unbelievable, right? He was one stubborn son of a gun. He really was. Still married to the job? Pretty much. Heard you transferred to the juvenile division. That was news to me. Shocking, right? Some career path. But you requested to transfer, right? There a reason for that? There is, actually. It's all because of the dissolution. The Great Dissolution? Yeah. Remember how Daigo Dojima and other big names started a security company after all that went down? It was a haven for former Yakuza. Right. I figured if Kazuma were still alive, he would have lent them a hand. That man is practically the icon of the old Yakuza and all. I'm sure he would have taken it upon himself to clean up after them, too. Hmm. And if they were in charge of the cleanup, then as a cop, I could work on prevention. At least that's what I thought. In other words, you're trying to prevent kids from becoming petty criminals or joining the Yakuza. Hence the transfer. Right you are. It's tougher than I thought, but it's rewarding work. And that way you could feel connected to Kiryu. <laughs> that's one way to put it. I wanted to sound cool, that is. But yeah, that's why I'm bent on pursuing my new dreams. And that's why I want to keep doing what I can, but... Maybe a part of me is still waiting for him. Hmm. <sighs> Aren't I just so faithful? <sighs> Sayama, look, the truth is... Don't, Dante-san. Uh, it's fine. <sighs> Something wrong? Uh, no, you're just... You're just way too good for him. Thanks for that, Date-san. Seems I was a luckier man than I thought. Seriously? You're telling me. You sure you don't want to tell her anything? I'm sure. As long as she's got a dream to chase, she's better off without me around. That's the hardest pill to swallow. But you know what, Kiryu? What? You should live how you want to. If there's a woman you love, you hold on to her. Never let go. I'm getting jealous just looking at you. <laughs> I guess you'd know best, considering you've gone through a divorce before. What? Low blow, man. Sorry, it was just a joke. Thanks, Date-san. 
a real heartbreaker, aren't you? But I meant it. Yeah, every word. Just do what you want to do. You've got tons of folks on your side supporting you. And don't you forget that. I won't. Nice going. Looks like I'm up. Smile and waste a night with you. 